there's one thing in my life that's missing It's the time that I spend alone Sailing on the cool and bright clear water I've never been in the Amazon before, but we all just said at the same time we feel like we're driving in the Amazon. Good morning from downtown Calabria. We're in Ensenada, um, and we're just taking a little ride around the inner cove to see what's going on in the town. We might walk around for a little while, and then we're probably off to Puerto Rico. Uh, there was a few sun thunderstorms uh, this morning, and we're just waiting for that to pass before we go out to sea. It's been a beautiful morning, got a beautiful picture of the sunrise. Looking forward to seeing you guys in Puerto Rico. It's really a beautiful area if you look at um, all the different houses. And uh, there's a school in the background with probably about 200 solar panels on it to generate electricity. Beautiful homes right here on the water, but I don't know if they had a storm surge, if there'd be any houses left. But uh, just a beautiful area, just um, kind of an old field, Caribbean um, island feel. There's the MLB construction trailer at the top of the hill. He's working on a home up there, and the owner is still waiting for him to complete the punch list. Five years now. Actually, I r honestly don't believe any house on this island has been finished. There's, there's Mike. We're, we're dropping him off now so we can go up and finish the punch list on that house. We'll see you later. We'll see you in 2013, Michael boy. Have fun. Uh, I'll say hi to your mom for you and your sister. And uh, We'll be back, I think, October 20th of 2013. Adios, amigos. The world famous dinghy dock bar and restaurant. This is what island life is all about. Open some days, closed others. If you look straight out, that's where we actually came from and through the canal and down to the bridge, under the bridge, and to the dinghy dock. Oh, this is awesome! Look how cute they are! <laughs> Oh, One month. One month? One month, ten days. Again, this is a walk for cancer, and we must all remember that uh, cancer affects everybody, whether in the United States or whether you're in a beautiful Caribbean island. So we all know somebody who has died of cancer, who, uh, who fights cancer, and uh, uh, we think of them all the time. So uh, great cause. So here we are in town, now looking out at uh, our boat. So uh, great little town. Here is some local produce. We're actually going to pick up some bananas for the rest of the day. Good morning. Okay, folks, this is the last um, uh, sailing trip we're going to take of this trip. We're going to leave from Calebra, which is in the Spanish Virgin Islands, over to Fajardo, which is Puerto Rico, and this is where we started 10 days ago. So we're going to actually have the wind with us this time, so we're going to have a really, really fast sail versus, as you can see, the lines here, we went against the wind uh, the first time. So we're going to start over in Dewey, which is in Calebra, and we should be able to do a straight shot in three to four hours right into Fajardo, Puerto Rico. Thanks for following along, and we'll see you back in the United States. A few people have asked me um, how the boat is to handle getting on and off the mooring individually, so I'll show you here how easy it is.
all there is to it. Very easy. Okay, we are now about three miles outside of Fajardo, Puerto Rico. We had a great sale from Calebra. We probably made it in about probably four hours by the time we um, get to the dock. So, um, great wind, great sail, and um, couldn't have asked for actually a better leg to sail. So, um, we should be in probably within the hour at the dock, and um, we're going to stay in Fajardo tonight. We'll clean up the boat, clean up things a little bit, and just relax and go out to dinner tonight and get up leisurely tomorrow, put the final touches on cleaning the boat and packing, and uh, we'll be on our way. So um, it's been a great trip. I'm kind of sad, but um, um, I guess that's what makes you want more. So uh, we'll see you in Puerto Rico, Fajardo. Okay, stop. <laughs> oh god, I'm crying. I'm here. I thought the restaurant was down by the water. Alright guys. Uh, oh, okay, so for the drink. To, to a nice. great trip. To another amazing trip. <laughs> That's great, thank you. Okay, Hi, so. Mom. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Puerto Rico. Thank you. Goodbye to Puerto Rico tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I could stay at your house though if you'd like. There is actually a few boats, probably, when I say a few, probably 10 to 15 boats that have been seized by the U.S. Marshal's office. Uh, I got to assume drugs, but uh, they've got probably, as I said, 12 to 15 boats down here that are uh, seized. And uh, it's probably a good place to pick up a boat cheap. This is the marina where we've been staying. Uh, it's probably one of the nicest and largest marinas that I have seen. They've probably got well, well over a thousand boats. Rack storage probably for another thousand boats. Here is the other side of the marina. The other side was where the fuel dock was. And this is looking onto the mountains of Puerto Rico, Fajardo see actually how big this marina is any type of boat is here sail power big Viking boats big Hatteras's small sea rays everything is here it's fun to walk the docks it's funny too that um, we pulled into the gas dock yesterday we were responsible for filling up the um, the tank or how much we used $38 um, seven gallons of um, fuel that's all we used the whole week and uh, that's what Salem's about there goes a boat out now out the channel for a nice got a beautiful wind today probably 25 knots the company we charted from is Sail Carib and uh, this is the second time using them and they were um, once again just terrific. The boat was prepared great, the boat ran great, no problems and uh, very very accommodating. So to Jim who's the owner and to Marie who runs the operations and Debbie, Jim's wife and Ivan and Pedro, we appreciate everything you guys did for us and hope to see you again real soon. Thanks again. Okay, today we leave. We leave at 7 o'clock from San Juan and we'll arrive at uh, about 11 o'clock in Boston. So uh, hopefully the hurricane will not have any impact on our flight. Take one. Uh, had a great trip, a lot of fun, a lot of stories, posted a lot of stuff on Facebook, met some very nice people. Sailing was great, that's what it's all about. Um, my favorite by far, second year in a row, is Trunk Bay. Just I could spend days just sitting on the beach there. It's incredible. Not looking forward to going home, but I guess it's time to start heading home shortly. And I don't know, that's about it. I had a great time, and I can't wait to do it again. Just in case you guys haven't met Mark or heard Mark, this is Mark.
Mark Ahrens. Hi everyone, it was an excellent trip, another great year. Hope I get asked, don't get voted off the island next year. And um, I will be back, hopefully, um, considering uh, I plan on having all my limbs. Anyways, uh, this was a fantastic trip. We started, we hit a complete set of different islands. Uh, only hit one uh, duplicate, which was Croc Bay, which was um, just beautiful. And um, uh, learned a lot. I definitely learned, um, you know, I'm ADHD, tried to learn how to relax. Sailing, really sailing, uh, like we did 10 hours um, uh, two of the days and roughly five hours uh, three or four of the days. Um, you just learn to just really enjoy the beauty around you, which you don't do in a motorboat. And so that's one of the things I can take away from this trip. Um, and I really appreciate the opportunity, John and Mike. An opportunity uh, to actually drive. If you try to keep a sailboat on a course for too long, you j it just go nuts. So they, they being Mike and John, made the decision after by a couple of days of being seasick to give me the helm. Um, we were in open ocean, you know, hopefully there was nothing going to happen and uh, nothing did and I was able to drive probably I would say about a third of the trip, maybe a little less than that. And uh, Please pause while we change batteries <laughs> in the camera. <laughs> okay well anyways, to recap, it was fantastic. Love that we had air conditioning this year. Hope that we keep doing that and uh, hope to see you next year. Now our esteemed leader. Well, another year, another sailing trip. We had a great time, as we have in the past, and uh, this year it was a little bit different. We chartered a Genoa 409. Uh, the boat was excellent. I would highly recommend it to anybody looking at it. And there's no perfect boat, but uh, it certainly is a good boat. Mike and, John, uh, Mike and Mark, thanks for coming along. I had a great time again. I think for me the best part of the trip was going to the field dock and only spending $38. Uh, we were out for 10 days and uh, if we were in a power boat we'd be probably around 300 gallons versus 5 to 6 gallons. So, But we had a great time and uh, thanks everyone for following and it's back to reality today when we board our plane from Puerto Rico at 7 o'clock. So, I'll keep the videos coming, and um, so stay tuned for more videos. Thanks. Well, this is it. We're leaving. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank Mike and uh, Mark for coming along. Uh, once again, it's nice when you have three different individuals who can uh, come together and uh, have a great, great time. A lot, a lot of laughs and a lot of things we couldn't show on the video, but we had a great time. Uh, I'd like to thank Seal Carib, Jim, and Debbie, who own the company. And uh, Maria, who uh, I have dealt with uh, on all my reservations. So thank you to you guys. And uh, the islands were beautiful once again. Tough to leave. We visited uh, Calebra, St. John, and St. Thomas on this trip, which was nice because Mark had not seen a couple of the islands. And uh, their favorite is Trunk Bay on St. John, which we did again. So that was nice. And we got to spend time on St. John. But uh, we had a great time. We all hate to leave, um, but uh, all good things must come to an end. So uh, keep following along, and uh, thanks for uh, watching the videos. Is that card ours? Oh, I have plenty of time to spare. Yeah, it's coming now. Are you a water, John? Mark? There's one thing in my life that's missing. It's the time that I spend alone.